Hi everyone, so today's video is on trigonometry finding the missing angle. So if you weren't sure on how to start these questions, what you need to have a look at is um, my video on understanding the formula as uh, the formulas for trigonometry and I go through how to rearrange, label the sides and things like that. Okay, so make sure you've had a look at that first if you don't know anything about trigonometry. Okay, so um, I'm going to go through a worked example this time um, and then um, you will need to practice. So what um, we've got here is our right angle triangle. I'm told two sides and I've got a missing angle. Okay, so that screams trigonometry because as I said in my first video, trigonometry always involves two sides and one angle. Okay, um, in my next video, which is on finding a missing side, um, it would be we were told the size of this angle, but we would be missing one of those sides. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, and that's the same with any trigonometry question, whether it be finding a missing angle or a side, you need to label the sides. Okay, so if you remember, the longest side is the hypotenuse, so I call that H. The one opposite the angle is opposite, and the one trapped in between the angle and the right angle is adjacent. So I label that O, A, and H. Okay, the next thing I need to do is decide which side I don't need. Um, what I tend to do is I say if there's nothing by it, if it hasn't got a friend, then it's, it's not needed. Okay, so if I look at this, H has got the 10 centimetres, so that will be needed. O has got the 5 centimetres, that will be needed as well. A hasn't got anything, and it's not the side that we need to find out. So I cross out A, so I'm working with O and H. Okay, this is where it comes back to this special word that we always use in trigonometry, which is Sokotoa. Okay, so if we're working with O and H, which part of Sokotoa am I going to be using? Okay, yeah, I hope you all said SO. Okay, so what we would do is we're going to write out our formula for SO. So sine of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. So in my last video, I told you how to write out the formula, remembering that the letter in the middle is always the one on top of the fraction, the numerator, okay? Right, so all I'm gonna do now is substitute in what I know. So sine, what's the size of the angle? Well, we don't know, so that's x, okay? Equals opposite is five, and adjacent is 10, okay? So I've got sine x equals five over 10. Now, we're working out the size of an angle, so what you could do is you could now put this in your calculator, and you do 5 divided by 10, and it would tell you a half, which is 0 0.5. So sine x equals 0 0.5. Now, that isn't telling me the size of the angle, okay? And what I said to you in my last video was, was that you had to do the inverse of sine to get it on its own, because that's what we do, isn't it? When we um, need to rearrange something, we do the opposite to get rid of it, okay? So to get rid of sine here, to get it on its own, I have to multiply by sine to the minus one, okay? When that cancels them out. So x equals, so I've got rid of that, and I take it to the other side, and it becomes the inverse of five divided by 10. Now I've left it like this as a fraction because sometimes you could have really big numbers here, um, which have got a lot of numbers after the decimal point. So keep it as a fraction because it keeps it nice and straightforward then. So all I need to do now is in my calculator, type in exactly what I've got here. So I have to use shift and sign, that brings up the sign to the minus one. It automatically opens a bracket for me and then I do 5 divided by 10, close my bracket, and it'll give me the answer of 30. And remember, it's an angle, so it's 30 degrees. Okay? It's the same for any um, part of Sokotoa. So if we're using ka or toa, it would be exactly the same method, except you would have cos here or tan here. Okay? It works exactly the same way. So make sure you... Uh, the important thing is to make sure you've got your numbers the right way around here. If I'd put them the other way around, I wouldn't have got an answer. It would have given me an error on my calculator. Okay, um, and make sure you do the inverse at the end. Okay, so have a look at my next video now on how to find a missing side.